vegan cheetahs. Vegan umbrella is nothing more than a lazy ass excuse from one drug addict, lunatic loser that don't have any moral stance and that being a terrible role model. Yeah. Vegan cheetahs, vegan umbrella. If you ask me, it is just one absolute insane idea. Eating five kilo meat per week and still can call yourself vegan. Veganism is not one diet. Veganism is a lifestyle. Veganism acknowledge the intrinsic re legitimacy of all life. It is not more acceptable to kill creatures with a primitive nervous system than those with highly involved nervous systems. The final of life of its processor is the Z. No matter if it be a cow, a chicken, a crane fetus or a child. No living being want to be your food choices. Veganism is not about you or about me. Veganism is about animals that being terrified, afraid and being treated like Nothing more than commodities. I will ask you now. How will you feel if the day you've been born, somebody else is already planning the day of your execution? Because that is how it be to a cow and chicken or a turkey on this planet. They are being turned into slavery. And if you feel offensive by that, Slavery is not only for our black people. Slavery is a system wherein living beings being oppressed without compromise and without regard for their will. Where living beings being oppressed for only profit. Just your own preface with, without, without compromise. Slavery is slavery. No matter if you in a cow, an elephant, a chicken, or one child. You don't can call yourself vegan if you eat meat, dairy and eggs and wear leather. Just just saying if you been um be not a rapist and you rape. Or you be not molester uh one well, molester and you molest and you say that you're not being a terrorist and you commit terror, acts of terrorism. Being so full with patriotism that you don't can face reality. Real fucking quick, because you're starting to piss me off now. Or being the crystal mats and all the heroin and all the other drugs that you use. Go to your minds and be, you know, brain is now nothing more than one bunch of gelatin. Right, I go through mental relapses almost every single day. Vegan cheetah. Or how about to say, a mad cheetah. It's cause you've been mad as hell. Really does want to use still, you know, there's a part of me every single day. I'm a very selfish person because it gives me a higher purpose. I'm a business man I'm trying to run a business
if you've been vegan and you eat meat, dairy and eggs and you can you call yourself vegan that way and I can say that I've been God I can say that I've been Jesus I can say that I've been the universe and it's been true with this uh, this is good to have wide open ears and to listen to what anybody else to say but when it comes to making decisions for yourself, you have to weigh anything on us all. A place where it belongs. If you're going to listen to what somebody say about something, and not checking this out for yourself, you find out that you will become um, love the oppressors and. Hate the victims. V a vegan person don't wear animal products, don't wear leather, silk, fur, or any kind of animal based products. And vegan also don't eat meat, dairy, and eggs. A vegan. Veganism is about morals, it's about standing for something. Veganism makes you a better person in general. Veganism is about standing up for victims, the victims, the animals, and in, the, in a concentration camps. That we show you from history, we call it slaughterhouses. The animals have been hanged upside down, and then some psycho slapped their throat. That's from a euphemism. Slaughter is a euphemism for murder. Euphemism must be words by disgusting path and victimizers. So abuse the victims. Have you once think about the suffering way you spell yourself the site? Meat eating asking for the respect of vegans is uh, is just like uh, America's men love society. Um men how rape children uh, to ask for respect for their for their way of life in contrast with popular opinions it is not your right based on your traditions your beliefs and your habits to deny other animals their freedom so that you can harm slave them and rape that's not what rights are about and there is also no excuse over veganism, except it. make a plea and move awards. How will you feel if somebody mock your entire existence, say that your life don't matter at all? Say that you, that I can do with you whatever I please without compromise. If you want to think for one moment about the victims, if you not think about the victims, then you'll be no better than all the rapists, all the child molesters and all the other disgusting scums on this planet. One kind of equality will always create one other kind of equality. Humans, it becomes time to that you accept. Very much accept that animals don't want to be your food. And stop making idiotic, lazy and stupid excuses. For things that you also don't want that dare do to you. This war may be harsh and controversial for you, 
but that don't mean that they'll not be the truth. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And accept this fact. All true have the past to three stages. First, it be mad and radical. Second, it been violently opposed. And finally, it been accepted as self average And nobody questions it anymore. It have taken 400 years to free blacks from whites. Uh, take also another 50 years for women to get their rights. So what I want to say. I want you to be just as foolish as your ancestors and make extremely idiotic excuses for things that have been absolutely very easy to understand. Or become you vegan. And not push discrimination and hate for bias rules, by speciesism. Check out this video and other videos and go vegan. Check out my other links and go vegan. And this time for true. And don't be an immoral, hypocritical douchebag. And accept that any living being on this planet wants to have their life, live their way, their wants.